So you've also, since I started following you again and, and, you know, noticing this year was the 25th anniversary of the Silver Jews American mm-hmm. Waters album, and you did the cover art for that. So you've been posting a lot about that. And I, mm-hmm. like you did a round of prints look like, and do you want to talk about that a little bit? Cause it seems like it's yeah, kind of, yeah, sure. at that's, least that's, right that's, now has been a big part of like my current thing. That's a big part of my art and really my history um that the silver jews was a band is a band um it was formed by a friend of mine david berman uh you know he's a singer and writer he's a poet he's done books of poetry but he's he lived in dallas like when i was in high school <clears throat> and he went to green hill and um um i met i so i basically have known him since high school since kind of the underground kind of you know deep ellum you know, scene uh, yeah. and all that. And, you know, he's a great guy. He's funny. He's intelligent. Uh, he was, he's one of those kind of, uh, the, the guy you always want to be friends with. He thinks really cool. He was like a great above me. And um, so, yeah, I mean, we, we kind of were real good friends in high school and everything. And then, you know, and this is, you have to preface all this with, this is free, internet and free cell phone and free social media so you know how like you might be friends with someone and then uh, you might you know you go off to college or you move away and you don't hear from them for a few years and then they go hey what's going on oh hey what's up you know it's been like you think it was just the la- a day ago you talked to them yeah. and you just come pick up years later where you so that's how our relationship uh kind of went along it's like <clears throat> we were friends in high school then he went to college and I did my thing and then I was living in Austin and he was there living in Austin um and he had kind of gone to like University of Virginia where he met Steve Malcolmus and bought guys in pavement yeah. that band and um, so they were all college friends in, in uh, Virginia and really it was and it was Silver Juice was the first band and it was like with David and Steve Malcolmus and then Malcolmus went and did pavement, but they kind of all cross pollinated. But so, you know, we hung up, we were, then we hung out in Austin and then, then, then a long time went by and I, you know, I was then living in New York and um, he had already kind of been living in New York, in and out of New York and doing all this stuff and doing the silver juice. And, and, you know, I was very into music, but I had not even really heard of them. They were very underground um, I, I was like into pavement, didn't even know, I didn't even know he was in a band, you know, cause, cause there is no social media. I had no way of, you know, but he called me and he's like, Hey, um, you know, I'm in town, uh, recording a record or something, or, you know, I'm here recording a record, yada, yada. And this was 98 or whatever, yeah. when he was in American water in Brooklyn there. And, um, Oh, Oh, you're in a band. I mean, I seriously, and I, cause I was also, I was so into the art world and my art I really wasn't even following music but it was just like oh it's my friend Dave from Dallas you know what's up come on by the studio I'm having a little party I had that painting up there in the studio and um so he was there and he he came with some some people from the Jews and uh, everything but again I didn't wasn't real aware of his music career whatsoever it's kind of funny but um at one point you know I went off to another part of the party and I came back in this room and he was sitting in a, he was the only one in the room. The painting was on the wall and he was sitting in this chair. He had been looking at, but then he fell asleep. He had, he was asleep on the chair. Cause I think they, they were, you know, they were doing a lot of recording and staying up late. And, and it was just kind of funny. Cause um, then later that summer um, I was at Skowhegan when I went and did that, but he's like, Oh, Hey, that uh, he called me or something. You know, he's like, Hey, that, that painting you had in the studio, uh, could, could we use that for the cover of our album? And I'm like, uh, yeah, sure. That's cool. And again, I didn't know. I mean, he had only, they'd done two albums before that. They weren't, they were kind of a college rock band or, you know, I didn't really, yeah. it was just like, oh, you're my friend. Of course. Yeah. That, that's cool, dude. Oh, how neat. You know, but I hadn't heard any of the music, nothing. Um, and then, you know, he had me come pick it up and, you know, um, wow, that's really neat. I was not even paid for it. Mm. It was totally, you know, indie underground you know i wasn't paid for it i didn't sign anything um it was just a favor for a friend he gave me the cd and everything and i'm going back home i'm like god i hope i like this 
Yeah. Some, sometimes like friends bands, you're like, oh, dude, but, you know, but I was like, I, I hope I like this. So I put it on and I'm like, holy shit. That's this pretty is great. Incredible. Yeah. I was like, yeah. whoa, dude. And then I kind of started research. I'm like, oh, okay. And, but um, I, I still listen to the album. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's an amazing album. Uh, somehow he knew that image would go perfectly with the album and it just it didn't have even have a the painting did not have a title at the time so I was like okay I'll name it American Water and that's not something I did recently to make it perfect it was like back then I was like that actually would be a great name for the painting that's what I'm gonna do so that was that um, people would be like oh I I saw your album uh, in the window at you know on St. Mark's Place, and oh, that's cool. I, I just really did not get the gravity of it at the time, and, and neither did he. And so the, the Jews kind of kept doing their thing, and there still wasn't social media and stuff. So I just kind of went off my life. He went on with his and had his issues. And um, I would, I kind of moved back to Texas. And then every now and then, someone would email me, Hey, um, you're the one that did that cover of American Water. Do you ever like, you know, paint those for people? And I was like, oh yeah, sure. Okay. I'll do that. You know, so I kind of started doing that. Just very, people just kind of found me somehow. Uh, and then social media arrived and, and it just kind of the David Berman and the Silver Jews, just, they got a huge cult following where people like in their twenties love them in high school. It's really yeah. weird. I started under figuring out more about it and I just, and then, um, you know, we were kind of in touch again. And then he kind of, you know, committed suicide in 2019. And that kind of blew it up also. But <clears throat> um, it just, that album and him and his music, that's all just grown. Like, I, I he would, it would freak, I'm sure it freaks him out, would freak him out. Because yeah. again, then I was like, oh yeah, you can use my picture. That's cool, man, whatever. It's so casual. And now it's this big thing and, um, and then, um, so yeah, this guy, uh, you know, approached me like, oh, do you want to, you know, kind of do prints? And, we, and that was the, this 25th anniversary, that was the third, you know, print run we did. Um, but so we definitely wanted to do one on the 25th anniversary. We had done two more, you know, right before it kind of, but yeah, I mean, he, uh, has them done in, uh, in Bushwick, very nice, very good quality prints. And, but it's just very weird, um after all these years to see how it, what a phenomenon and have all yeah. these people talking to me all the time. Of, oh, tell me about Dave. Tell me about, you know, all this crazy stuff. And yeah. we're like, dude, it was just a casual thing, you know, yeah. but, and then I had to do like a million paintings for people and the prints. And, and it's kind of like, it's also a big thing that at times I wish would then kind of just go away. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Now it's like, that's what people know me for. One yeah. painting I did uh, 25 years ago right not any other work not anything else I've done just that one which it's cool it's cool for my ego it's cool monetarily um I keep doing it uh, really to honor David's legacy really mm -hmm. um so that's why I do it um but also it's kind of like okay uh, I do other work too so yeah has it had the effect at all of bringing bringing in new people to see like your work beyond that one painting or is it pretty uh, yeah, a little, yeah definitely a little bit yeah yeah I've had people um that well actually what was really funny what, what's been funny over the years before people just it became very known that I did that image yeah but oh you did that cover I'm like uh -huh. yeah I mean they're like whoa I didn't know that I mean it does say it right there on the record but because because of no social media people don't really look at that kind of stuff yeah, yeah. So many people have been into that cover, probably that I've known faced it that didn't even know I did it, you know. So that that's been kind of weird. But um yeah, it's it's helped people like you know, see all my work and you know, that kind of thing. But but it's like if I do a post on social media about American water or with American water image or anything related to that or David Berman, it's gonna get hundreds and hundreds of likes. Yeah. Guaranteed. Yeah. Because our life is an algorithm now. I mean, it, it's like right. that. I almost yeah. feel like, oh, I could just post something American Water and it's going to, you know, uh, my other work gets a good amount of likes and, you know, and all that. But that's the thing that, but yeah, I, I mean, like to get mad at that. But then I can be like, well, 
I guess I did one cool thing in my life, you know, yeah. and that kind of thing. But it's it's just weird. I mean, it has a it has a very broad reach as well. And so that's part of it, you know. I mean, um people who people who are interested in music uh vastly outnumber the people who are interested in the visual arts, you know. Most uh, of my people are music people. Yeah, yeah. Get it and all of that. Yeah. Probably it's actually more music people than art world people. Yeah. For sure. And it's just weird. It was one of the easiest paintings I've ever done. It's just three colors. Well, what's the origins of that painting? Like what what is that? Um, is it based off of something or is there a story behind it? Oh, I mean a little bit. I was kind of um when I went to when I moved up to like museum school, Boston and New York, I kind of <clears throat> I'd been doing before that at North Texas. I was doing all this kind of gritted Gerhard Richter, you know, <laughs> abstract, you know, stuff, smearing and a lot of black, a lot of black, and then a color and like a Xerox, you know, all that stuff. And yeah. I always want to revisit that too. I never really do though. But you know, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do different stuff. So then North Texas or uh, museums. Then I kind of really, I don't, even though that stuff at North Texas, I mean, it, yes, it's. It's sort of painterly. I I I, I was really into uh, removal of the artist's hand. Mm -hmm. You know, not not having a gesture, or the artist's hand, or anything too romantic. You know, so yeah. my painting became just total hard edge. I was doing a lot of hard edge stripes. Like I loved Ken Noland and kind of those color field painters. So I was yeah. incorporating a lot of hard edge, and then kind of not when I was in Texas, but. Not it wasn't until the I got to the East Coast I started really getting into kind of the horizon line and landscape, desert, mm -hmm. seven, super graphics, and I think because up there I was very claustrophobic and I kind of missed Texas and the yeah. open, which there really isn't that here anymore. Honestly, it's yeah. it, there. There is in yeah. places, but but I romanticized that, and uh, so I just got into all that. So I would do all these kind of, you know road perspective things and stripes and you know and that was just uh you know and back then there were no um I mean I had to use my autograph uh, opaque projector that was my right uh, crutch man I couldn't freehand anything now everything went on that but you could not go on the internet and google like oh I need a picture of this yeah it would be like oh there's a good picture in a magazine you cut that out so it's just a picture of uh, Monument Valley. And I was like, okay, that's cool. And then I think I'm going to do a a road, like a triangle. I mean, it's the most uh, simplistic, basic thing. But it's like, I just, I got the colors right. I got it all. It just yeah. uh, worked, you know? And right. I actually, to this, I have not, I think I've done uh, lots of really good paintings, you know, since then, of course. But to be able to make just something that simple, three colors, and just have it work like that, I, I wish you could, you, you would think that would be easy, and it's not. It's just That's really that kind but, of, but, that yeah. level of minimalism and, and yeah. like nailing that whole sort of sense of, of like the vastness of the West and mm -hmm. the sense of, of like a journey, the, mm -hmm. the disappearing road. Yeah, you know, the vanishing point, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, 